Today we are going to discuss about the structure and function of testes. This is a rough diagram of testes. From the structure, you may get rough knowledge about the structure of testes. This is the outer membrane of testes. It is somewhat uh, ovoid shaped structure and it composed of several compartments. And this compartment is actually made by some septum like structure which is known as testicular septum. And this testicular septum forms compartment like structure, 12 to 15 compartment like structure within the testes. These compartments contain some tubular structure, which is very important structure of testes, is known as seminiferous tubule. The seminiferous tubule unites at the posterior part of the testes, which is known as ready testes, and finally it leads into a coil like structure outside the testes called epididymis. And finally, epididymis leads into a fine tubular structure called vos deferens. The components of testes. Testes is basically composed of seminiferous tubule and the leddic cell. This is a basic structural component of testes. This is the transverse section of testes. From the structure, we get a detailed knowledge of testes. And this round shaped structures are actually seminiferous tubule. And in between the space of seminiferous tubule, there is a cluster of cells called leddic cell. These are two basic components of testes. The seminiferous tubule is composed of two types of cells, spermatogenic cells and the serpoli cell. Spermatogenic cells are actually sperm producing cells, and the spermatogenic cells further can be divided into following types spermatogonia, primary spermatocyte, secondary spermatocyte, spermatite, and spermatozoon. And look back the structure of testes. This is the structure. From here, you may observe these cells. This is spermatogenic cells. These are the spermatogenic cells, layer of spermatogenic cells. The outermost layer and the cells of this layer is known as spermatogonia. The cells are actually considered as stem cell of testes, which actually helps in development and formation of sperm or spermatozoa. The next layer composed of cells called primary spermatocyte and the third layer composed of cells called secondary spermatocyte and the fourth layer is composed of cells called spermatite and finally these are spermatozoon or spermatozoa and clearer. These all together the structure is known as spermatogenic cells or these cells are together known as spermatogenic cells. Beside this Sertoli cell contains another structure Sertoli cell. These are the Sertoli cells. These are yellow colored structures. A tumor is Sertoli cell. And there is also a very important structure of testes. And another important structure is the Leddig cell. As we have seen at Tumor, these are the Leddig cells. Okay. And this structure is also known as interstitial cells as they are located in interstitial space between the seminiferous tubules. Now, the function of each type of cells first, the function of spermatogenic cells. The spermatogenic cells solely involved in development and formation of male gametes, I mean uh, spermatozoa and pleural. The next important cell type is Sertoli cell, which also present inside the seminiferous tubule, and they play various important functions like nutrition, they provide nutrition to the newly formed uh, male gametes, I mean sperm. They also produce blood testis barrier, I mean they prevent the entry of blood within the testes, which is a very important function, and it also secretes inhibin and androgen binding protein, in short we call ABP. These are two important biochemical elements secreted by the seminiferous tubule. The next and the last important type of cell is Leddig cell, which is also known as interstitial cells, as I have told you, and these cells are solely involved in synthesis and secretion of testosterone which is actually male androgen and these are the functions of this respective cells and you all know that testosterone is a very important and this is the function of testosterone hormone testosterone hormone altogether plays two important function development of primary sexual characteristics i mean development of testes production of sperm etc these are under primary sexual characteristics and the development of secondary sexual characteristics is another important function of testosterone. The secondary sexual characteristic means uh, formation of beard, moustache, 
the hardening of wires, formation of muscles, etc. Secondary functions of testosterone hormone. Thank you. For testing your understanding of this lesion and more videos, log on to www.tubelations.net.